pants thank that guy upstairs we all got out of here Oof. zero <laughs> yeah him <laughs> like me <laughs> rarely anyone does <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Zero. <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> Doing my job. You killed Science Boy. <laughs> you killed Science Boy. I just watched. I made it possible. It was for part of the puzzle. To live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Science Boy really... included. <coughs> That's a lot. I started to play the video game. Yeah. What game is he playing? What? Nothing. Whew. No nary game. Been on nary game. All right, let's go. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Darn. No, 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 no. Wait, I got all my voices confused. <laughs> <laughs> John, none of these open. They're all locked. How about that one? Let's hope this is the door with the prize. The prize? Jumpy! No. Oh. Huh? <laughs> no, let's go a different way. <laughs> June. Santa 7. The gang is all here. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Well, but we didn't. Hey guys, could you come take a look at this? It's my butt. Whoa. Hey, <laughs> your butt's on the wall. Oh, it's getting away! <laughs> a map of the ship's interior. More like a map of the ship's inferior, am I right? Well, <laughs> got it. Nice. It says C deck. C deck. I don't get it. I think I made that joke last time. I, oh, I mean, no, in Bunga, another... No understand. In another timeline uh, that no one knows about. Anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think I'll ever get used to that. I don't think I want to get used to that. <laughs> the bright side comes off one of two ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh, deja vu. <laughs> so it's the map for this floor, then? Do, 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 do. Door seven and do, 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 do. door eight. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. Yeah, isn't that what I said? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door nine. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door nine. That's how the non-anary games works. Wait a second. This leads to... Your death. Oh! Oh, no, that's my O. <laughs> I still have an O. <clears throat> you gotta be kidding me. We may as well go. Yeah. Oops, almost forgot. We should keep this. Take that map. Ready? I'm gonna open it. Science boy's ashes. <laughs> oh. Jupe, why do you look so sad? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Did your brother well, die too? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> We're back. Back in black. Dun, dun. In the hospital room. <laughs> I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. Maybe this skip will work now. Ah. The scam. I'm a scam man. <laughs> the key 
Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the upper waiting room. Uh oh. Here. They done flipped it. Catch. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> nice catch. Jeez. I see. So this is Jupiter. No, it's a key, you idiot. Oh. I'm gonna let you hold on to that, all right? Yeah, on it. Well, I've got something for you, too, then. A kiss? Oh. A hard smack to the rump! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm still into it. <laughs> yeah, it's the Saturn key card. We found it in the kitchen. I might be able to do. Nope. I think that's door four, then. Hmm. I yeah. might lose it. After all, I'm not wearing any pants. Probably better if you hold on to it. That way it won't be my fault if it gets lost. Yeah. That sounds convenient. On it. So how many unused keys do we have now? There's the Earth key. We found the ball. Oh. Nuh-uh. The Jupiter key. And you just gave me? No! And the Saturn key card. Who noticed? No! Oh. I'll keep them safe. Introducing Sega Saturn. Oh. And yeah. Jupiter key versus Saturn key card. Ooh. <laughs> 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 this game's winner is Junpei. The no nary game. <laughs> 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 the Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Let's try again. Skip, baby, skip. Oh, boy, yeah, but the, wow. Well, uh, uh, yeah, buddy. Go check out Everybody that three put door. your hand on the door. Yeah, but, uh, oh, okay, oh. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Sush. <laughs> Well. Wow, r slash whoosh, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Is there any reason we uh, came back here? Like, <laughs> of course there's a reason. We only switched every inch of this room, didn't we? <laughs> I guess. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I just can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Huh? I don't even remember this conversation. How did I get here? This! In this timeline, you get to diss on him. <laughs> the Saturn key card. And the Earth key. That I got lost. from Lotus. Oh. You said. <laughs> Don't you remember, Santa? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> That's your even has kid. little jingle bells on his wrist. <laughs> 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 Up on the sea deck, reindeer paws. <laughs> <laughs> Out jumps good old Santa Claus. Oh. <laughs> on sea deck where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs. Remember? And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. Ooh, sorry, I'm tired. And on oh. a deck, on a deck, <laughs> on the door to the left, there was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it. I think. So the two keys the jumpy has should let us use the elevator and the door on a deck, huh? <laughs> yeah, but which one? <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. that's right. I don't know. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. What do you say we split into two teams and skip this? No, but I'm the... You two lovebirds have oh, a long you conversation the now. We're gonna get wet, and men could get wet too. Getting wet? That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, they could <laughs> yeah. only go down. That's probably what she's afraid of. <laughs> yeah. 
Are, are you talking about going down? Oh, this is kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what you choose, it's always an innuendo. But, but I'll get wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay. I think everyone gets wet. Here, let me show you. <laughs> what what if, like, he's just like, here, let me show you a map, and he just draws a dick. <laughs> We'll probably die. <laughs> We'd probably die. I don't die. know how we got here, but we're probably gonna die. What's gonna happen to the ceiling breaks? Hmm. We'd probably die. <laughs> oh, oh no! Don't don't be so casual about something like that. Sorry. At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can once we're done looking around down here. Lotus and Santa might already be dead. I mean, back. Skip that. I don't know why. That's that's bad. Bad. <laughs> well, I guess I don't need to, you know, put any sort of input on, on things. We just skip right along. Wow, there they are. They came back. Okay. What the? Ah, uh, he's dead. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I killed him. Uh, I mean, what? Oh, here we go. Let's check it out. Okay. It might be worth uh, checking out this description again. Just because I want to point out uh, this screen. There. There's blood everywhere. Uh, and stuff. Uh-huh. And they had to follow the radio arms to the source. The body itself was hidden behind a, div a divider. You gotta understand, it goes yeah. into extreme detail that you do not yeah. see in the adventure screen. June, you should stay here. But... No. As it's a shovel yeah. to grab like a tent pole, turned, and walked toward the end of the divider. Tent pole? I don't I'm know. going in. Yeah, you gotta remember uh, the DS had this at all times, so the dialogue was yeah. so much longer than we have it. Uh oh. Uh huh. It felt like it took an eternity for him to get there. Yeah. That's. Santa though is followed timid and nervous as a pair of children. Eventually, they reached the divider. They looked at one another, and nodded slowly. Should we put his mm -hmm. hands on the divider and peered around the corner? <laughs> Whoa! For a moment, he forgot to breathe. He felt his heart collapse in his chest like an I'm empty cigarette. I'm bleeding manually fern. now. And time froze. Yeah. He knew that in an instant that he would take the image before him to the grave. Here you go. What was left of the body sat in a sea of blood. Chunks mm. of flesh torn from the body sat in the blood like tiny islands in a great red sea. <laughs> A vast, ragged hole had been torn in the torso, and what remained of his intestines spilled out of it like fresh spaghetti. Mom, I want this for my Nintendo DS. Smaller <laughs> chunks of meat had splattered against the wall and become stuck there as they dried. Ooh. Lobules of yellowish fat had left trails like tiny slugs as gravity pulled them down the wall, even as they dried to it. He was we couldn't be bothered to animate this, so just take our word for it. Just like A said. <laughs> Santa's voice was strained. Junpei suspected he was holding down some vomit of his own. <laughs> Just like the ninth man. <clears throat> the date leader's bracelet set off the bottom of his gut. <laughs> it looks as though the explosion had been quite powerful. Mm. Oh gosh, the bone is covered out of his left arm. That's my good Christian boyfriend. <laughs> We've seen that sentence like three times now, but I need you guys to remember that. What? Does that mean anything the to you now? bone is coming out of his left arm? Because one of his arm was fake. I don't know which one it was. It was though. his left arm. Oh, so oh, that's my a fake prick. arm. Something's that means there. it's not snake. <laughs> anyway, that's important. Yeah. It's definitely an open fracture. His legs were both bent in an odd, unnatural way, and his left arm had split open, exposing the painfully white bone of his old knot. His brace lay next to him. It seemed to have hit the wall hard enough to have shattered the display, which lay on the ground in pieces. Only then you can prevent wildfire. That's a funny joke, Lotus. Half of his head had simply collapsed. <laughs> the blood coating almost made it look like raw pizza dough covered in tomato sauce. Mm. His clothes, too, were covered in blood. The burgundy tie, the white shirt, the jacket with the yellow piping, and the gray slacks. They but were, the clothes are... They were all familiar to Junpei. Mm. No mistake about that, it's Snake. Lotus's voice was unnaturally deep and strained, and Junpei heard it catch in her throat. 
Dots. Dots. More dots. So many dots. <sighs> Maybe it's only with the ninth man, but it's like, they mention like, oh, his rib cage looks like a crab with like his legs jutting out. And it's like, great. They're just <laughs> yeah. going for it. Yeah, they, they go all in on that. Yeah, but we don't get any of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just skip all this. Oh. Yeah, he definitely died. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was trying to get it out, but he couldn't because he was stupid. I was blind, not stupid. Yeah. I, <laughs> he I couldn't guess. find the... <laughs> couldn't find the dead. Yeah. And then he became the dead. <gasps> well, if we're going on that theory, what if Snake isn't dead? He's most certainly not. Man. And they just put like a, uh, a, a one of those mannequins in there and maybe he used the blood from the ninth man because of all that. But then he'd have to get into room three somehow. Hmm. Oh, and it's very visceral. Like, that's definitely somebody died in there. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the possibility that there can be other people on the boat as well, because there was the guy with the zero bracelet. Oh, that was the captain, yeah. That's two. It's a captain. big mystery. Hmm. But then how do you get the yep. bracelet off? Hmm. I don't know all the specifics, but I'm definitely in the Actually, camp. Actually, we don't that, know if that's like, his because it was smashed. Mm. I'm definitely in the camp that uh, Snake faked his death so he can go around and do the crap and he's the killer. Hmm. That's a theory. That's, that's my hypotheses. Okay, everybody drop paper. Because he wasn't there in the submarine one, so he could have been there. But you said he was faking it, so maybe that's your I said someone was faking their death. Wink. <laughs> well, yeah, and that would have been him if. Oh, do we want to go to the door death, too? His death was definitely <laughs> faked, if that's the case. <laughs> it absolutely was. But uh, so door one does still get you the axe ending. Door two does get you the sub ending again. Door six is different for some reason. But it's not highlighted. It's just because we already picked it. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, okay. Get out of here. Yeah, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, yes, he did it. Okay. Okay, See sounds good. It's my favorite what song, if we eat our... Uh, <laughs> I'm a scat me. Yeah. It's our oh yeah, I'm getting dizzy. I know the call. Oh wait, you gotta do this puzzle again. Oh, 50 tries. Oh, you're stupid. Oh my gosh, I feel so lightheaded. It must be this plot convenience. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I need to sit down a minute. Then we have to solve the puzzle on our own. Okay. Wow, it feels like really hot in here. You guys can all like take off your shirts if you want to. But I'll get cold. Yeah, that'd be rude of you. Don't do that. I don't know if we have Working to Working in there with all the coal. It must be so hot. You said there was a skip puzzle, but... Uh, I mean, there's a flow chart. Uh -huh. I don't know. I see these are crossed out, so it's definitely, I think, worth just going through them again. You guys, tell me some of your theories while I try to speed through this. Theories? <laughs> like, who do you think, think the killer um, is, and etc. In the, well, in the true ending, you get uh, Clover to walk um, like up those stairs, and and Santa gets a look at her, but he realizes <laughs> that um, she's keeping her axe under her skirt, and so oh. that's how they catch her. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> what are your theories? <laughs> let's see. Well, if it is Snake, and he took Lotus's watch, what is that? That's what two plus eight, eleven. Then he needs a seven. No, two plus eight is ten. Oh, you silly. Then he needs an eight. Who was Lotus's? Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Wait. What do you mean he needs an eight? Oh, Can yeah, make... it's equal nine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Hmm. I still like Ace Theory. Yeah. Ace. We don't know anything about him, and he's always like, Good job, Junpei! You solved the puzzle. <laughs> well. <Wow. laughs> yeah, that's true. He's, like, very enthusiastic about the puzzle solving. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. 
makes you stink. Well, I guess, okay, something else to consider. So he's got the one bracelet. He kills Lotus and gets the eight. Oh, hold on. That would mean they have, they have nine. Good. So if he gets the zero bracelet. That's true. Mm, yeah. Or, or if you're he already Zero bracelet. Mm. What if he grabbed the nine person's bracelet? Who went with us through that one? Yeah, it was Ace and Snake, so he could have it. It was Seven and Snake at the very beginning. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Then, yeah, he Snake could have it. Yeah, we still don't know what happened to that bracelet. Who knows? Nine oh, that's plus... true. Yeah, nine man's bracelet. Nine plus two is eleven plus uh, eight. That's eighteen, right? That's 19. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah. Then why'd he kill Lotus? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Hold on, we got some new dialogue, I guess, in the middle of this. Okay. You know, speaking of experiments... Oh, yeah? There's this experiment some scientists did with rats. First, they took a square she shaped tank and filled it with enough water that the rats could drown in it. That's what they did. Oh. The tank has two exits. Just to make it easy, we'll call one A and the other B. Exit A is pitch black, so dark even a rat can't see anything. But exit B is electrified, which means the rats can't leave through it. Oh no! So what would a rat do if it was put in this situation? Which exit would the rat choose? B, of course. The rat has no way of knowing that exit B is electrified. Exactly. The rat goes to exit B. Of course, like I said, it's electrified. Which means the rat can't get out that way. So after a lot of trial and error, the rat finally finds exit A. Hmm, I can't say that's very interesting or relevant. It's simply the story of a laboratory experiment. You're right. It isn't very interesting. Yet. Huh? Wow, wait a yes and, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> See, these, subscribe for more. <laughs> these scientists repeat this experiment over and over, using hundreds of different rats over several generations. This produced some surprising results. With each generation, the rats took less time to find the correct exit. Eventually, a rat was put in the tank, who instantly chose exit A, without even attempting to go to exit B. But that wasn't the most impressive part. The same experiment was conducted in another laboratory, far from the original one, with the same results. No, on second thought, the results weren't really the same. The rats in the second experiment began the trials with significantly faster times than the first rats in the initial one. These rats- They must have won. Yeah, they saw it on the street. These rats weren't related to the others, and had never even come into contact with them. And yet, they all easily found their way to exit A, as though they already knew. What did it mean? Are you suggesting something like telepathy? They were passing information to one another through some undetectable medium? How the hell would I know? And why'd any... you bring it up? I'm sorry, you're right. I'm not any kind of scientist. I don't know what made him do that. But I do know that story's true. And if you got another explanation, I'd sure love to hear it. Come on, let's get going. There's still a lot here we haven't checked out. And we gotta get that girl out of here before June passes out. You forget about it. Hey, wait, there's something I want to ask you. What? Are you single? <laughs> Maybe. Why did they use that tank for the experiment? Huh? Well, I mean, it seems like you could conduct the same experiment without the water. Mm. They could have just used the dry box, you know? If they needed to motivate the rats to escape, they could have, I don't know, put some bait by exit B or something? You idiot. I mean, do they really have to make it so the rats can drown? You know the word emergency comes from the same root as the word emerge? Do you no. ever think about that? Dang, right, that's bye. deep, yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Squiggly dot? Well, an emergency is something urgent, often something dangerous. 
and to emerge means to sort of come out or appear or rise out of something else. So, what's going to emerge in an emergency? Inspiration. What? Inspiration. Think about it. When the chips are down, either you crack or your mind focuses and pulls up what you need. So in an emergency, your real potential em emerges? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's why the rats had to drown. They had to be in danger. They had to be an emergency <laughs> for inspiration. That's why I had to, to kill them. <laughs> Sorry. I had to point a gun to your fucking head, Junpei. <laughs> Thoughts? <laughs> anyway, I'll see you downstairs. You wasn't Santa. swearing up there, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, so that was now. Good. Back to the <laughs> theories. Yeah. Back to the crackpot theories. What? Oh, we're good it's theories. June. This is all sort of a yen, yen, yen thing where where she's like crazy in love and 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 she's like, I'm gonna murder everyone who ever talks to you. <laughs> that's rude, right? Um, yeah. That's rude. That's real rude. Okay, well, what's your idea, genius? I don't know. All I know is it's true. Do you have you any other know points? The answer. Don't you? I think maybe you should talk to Lotus. <laughs> She's great at coming up with dumb theories. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an inside job. Oh. 7 Eleven is an inside job. <laughs> How can they get gas prices that low? I think Bush did 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lotus, I'm going to go talk to Clover. I, I want to help, too. No, Wait, you, does that mean you got to do the, the pushing puzzle, too, and the and the pin puzzle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you have Are to you do sure the puzzle? Are you sure you just can't skip them? I don't know. I'm looking... This is a lot of work. Oh, I just have the save option right now. I just looked Ooh. at the like flow chart earlier and there kind of wasn't like the locks were still on the thing or whatever. I don't know. Uh -oh. well, I'm, I'm just rolling with it, I guess. So maybe we were supposed to go through the, the fifth door or the fourth door instead of the fifth door. Uh, For the true ending, we want to go through the fourth door. Yeah. And you fricked it up. I fricked it. I screwed you, up. You fricked it up. Too. We're not Just, after the true ending. We're after the okay ending. We need this Just okay ending to get the true ending. The door. You make no sense. You don't make any sense. So if Snake did it, he had to team up with someone in order to get into the door. He had to go through door three, right? So, <coughs> so, 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 so what do we get? We get, it has to be two and one. So, so 12 or 21, like you said. So, um, two plus, or no, let's do, let's do 12 minus two minus, minus seven and three. Could have been seven and Santa. Is Santa three? Santa's three. Two plus three plus one. Twenty-three is number one. Oh, oh! That's how you get the slingshot, oh baby! <laughs> Finally, a real weapon. So seven and Santa could have been working with Snake. Oh! So I think that's the conclusion Clover actually reached. Uh, do you remember, like, in the axe ending, she says, like, somebody killed my brother, two of them did, and I think it was Santa and Seven, as I believe the people she came up with. Ah. Like, their numbers, their three numbers do uh, go through the three door together. That's true. Or it could be uh, June and uh, Junpei. They could have teamed up with Snake. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was That's an it. option. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, June. No, John pays five, right? Oh no, sorry. June pay and 
Not June. Clover. Oh. Here's something new, I guess. He's talking about his sister oh. or whatever. Okay. I was her Santa Claus. I did. <laughs> what? He glanced at you and shook her head and she didn't know either. We didn't have parents. They bought it in an accident when we were still kids. Oh. So I had to be like, How much did they buy? Uh, There's a whole farm, man. That's uh -huh. not funny. And that meant that I bought her Christmas presents every year. On Christmas Eve, I'd leave the present next to a pillow. And the next Was one of them pear shaped? Yep. She'd come running <laughs> into my room with this big smile. Look, look, Santa left me a present. He got me that doll I really wanted. I'm so glad he got my letter. She was always so excited. I was the one who told her to write those letters. I'd say, write down something you want and mail it to Santa. The address I gave her was somewhere in Northern Europe that doesn't exist. Anyway, she'd write the letter and stamp it and send it out. And then a few days later, it'd show up back in our mailbox marked address unknown. I'd open the letters before she figured out they'd been sent back. Once I had the letter, I'd go around to a couple stores with some money I'd saved up over the year and buy her the stuff she'd asked for. It took a lot of saving, but I managed to buy her presents every year. Dots. Listen to my story. Emotional dots. This may be our last chance. We went through the right door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can tell you about this. I don't feel sulky anymore. Yay! But one year, her letter was different. She didn't write a list of toys she wanted or anything like that. It says it said, I don't want any presents this year. Instead, I want you to make my wish come true. My wish is that we'll be happy like this for a really, really long time. That was it. Nothing else. But I couldn't make that wish come true. Some I'm not happy. Some Santa I am. What happened? She died. She was killed nine years ago. Oof. She's the killer. <gasps> dots. <laughs> um, concern dots? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Well, that, that wasn't funny at all. <laughs> that was almost a wholesome story. <laughs> almost. I didn't like the ending, though. Anyway, that's that. Yeah. Why don't you check the flow and see if you unlock the thing? Okay. Because, like, yeah, I think we need that conversation, so kind of can't skip the puzzle. Seek a way out. <gasps> Seek a mom and dad. Seek a mom and dad. See, there's a key unlocked. Unlocked? So you, like, legit Ooh. might need to just go through him again. Yeah, alright, fine. I'm sorry to be awful to you. Try to pick up the cars. It's trading card time. So if zero is the old man, that means there's ten people on the ship. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm. And he said he intended for all of us to get out, but not zero. So what does that even mean? He intended? Nintendo 64. I'll at least say it like that. He made it possible for everyone to get out. But what? But that, that got means, freaked up yeah. when the knife guy went. Ah. He was like, yikes. Mm. Like peeps in a microwave. Oh. And the ninth guy was like, you promised, we made a deal. <laughs> that didn't happen. Man. Mm-hmm. And this. he's like, look at this. <laughs> really, Junpei, is that all? <sighs> and he walked away. Whatever that means. And then um, June is all sad because she looks at the Lotus card and she's like, I don't have any bubbies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, this might be. Nice. Hey, what do you want to do today? Are you okay, June? I'm sorry. I gotta go check on her. Oh. 
You finished the box thing, all right? <laughs> Old man. Finally, my turn to do a puzzle. <laughs> I'm actually quite a good knack at it. Just put, I mean, just put the cards in the boxes. Old man, boomer, I'm counting on you. <laughs> yes. Hey, are you all right? What happened? Can you stand? No, I can't stand you. Oh, <laughs> but my sister. I'm sorry. I'm fine. Oh. I just tripped. Don't give me that. Now share. <laughs> the, those are two contradictory statements. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. I tripped over a box. Let's just just let me see for a sec. Mmm. Ooh. You're awfully close to me. You're still warm. Um. <laughs> I saw her fall. I think she really did just trip on something, you know? Still, to fall down like that. <laughs> what a loser. She's probably still a little stupid. <laughs> that. <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> all right. Well, let's you get know, out of here as fast as we can so we can get you to a hospital. You, you know, when you call me stupid, I don't actually mind it so much. It's kind of hot. Oh, know. Is that right? <laughs> it's, it's aggressive, but really passionate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I don't think it's anything that serious. That's good. <laughs> Junpei, I forgot that you were right here. <laughs> Why don't you go uh, solve a puzzle or something? I just need a little medicine and sleep, and I'll be fine. Medicine. Medicine, huh? Well, Maybe your uh, exposed arms around me. If we could get in touch with anyone outside, I'll bet Ace could swing that for you easy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, oh Ace. Uh, why, why him? Huh? Don't you know? He's the president of a pharmaceutical company. Cradle Pharmaceutical is the name, I think. Huh? What? Their flagship product is an anesthetic drug called Soporil. So, so, uh, Soporil? Both of you Isn't idiots! That a Pokemon? Get these two <laughs> away! I've heard of that Pokemon before! <laughs> Soporil? Uh, Pokemon. Give out form a Poril. It's an anesthetic that's a gas at room temperature. Uh -huh, like how nitrous oxide is. It takes only a few seconds to spread, and even a small amount is very effective. A bunch of countries quickly accepted it for widespread use within their police and military forces. Hmm. It was an effective crowd suppressant and room clearer. It was practical, ethical, and the humane nature of it made it the ideal drug. It's been around for about six years. They developed it from the extracts of several different roots. It became popular almost as soon as it was made public, with many governments placing large orders. Demand for soap reels skyrocketed, and of course that meant Cradle Pharmaceutical stock did too. I knew it! Ace! <gasps> Why do you know all of this? I heard it from the old man himself. From Ace? When? By the number four door, at the central stairway. When we were searching the second class room. Ooh. Remember how Snake 7 and you went to door 5? It was back then. Yeah. Oh. I no, and that's why things are different. <laughs> yeah, it kind of matters, I guess. I asked him what he did for a living, and he said he ran his own company. After that, we just started talking, and I guess it just came up, you know? Dots. <clears throat> Are you worried about something? N no, nothing. But in my head, <laughs> I can't figure out this damn puzzle. Mm. Yeah. Where's that darn fourth key card? <laughs> what the heck is going on? What are you? What are you doing? June, don't push yourself, all right? That's my job. Oh, okay. 
shoves. Yes. Mm. Santa, could you shove her for me? I gotta do some puzzles. I'm gonna check on Ace. Looks like he's having trouble. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing, shove. Thanks. What are you doing? What happened? Uh, nothing. I... I... Uh, my vision, yeah. My vision got rather blurry. I think perhaps because of the fatigue. Uh, I can't see very well at the moment. <laughs> I could certainly solve this puzzle on my own. I, no, I don't need your help. Why can't you see well? Uh, th these pictures. I don't care to admit it, but I may be de developing. Face my opia. Growing old is a difficult thing. It's the fear of Presbyterians. <gasps> oh no! At any rate, I'll leave the rest to you. I'm feeling awfully tired. So if you don't mind, I'd like to rest you a bit. Ooh, this LiftMaster 5000 looks comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> How could simply looking at cards have tired him out? Dots. But if it wasn't, what made him so uncomfortable? It was my card, wasn't it? Prespignosa. Oh my goodness. It's important, <laughs> it turns out. Prosopignosia. Prosopignosia. Well, put simply, it means the condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. Remember when I made random chatter? Oh. Are you thankful for it now? <laughs> no, I was sleeping. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. <laughs> that means the people with <clears throat> Give me a sec there you go. <laughs> Have trouble recognizing you. <laughs> Even the people they're close to they Maybe Maybe he's got <laughs> you guys. That's funny. Dots. Way well, to go. You made him upset. He looks depressed enough to have it. Don't say that. What's your face? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> oh, well. Time to solve the nine boxes puzzle. Now that I think about it, Ace was always complimenting my physique, but never my face. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Clover. I'm Junpei. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Right, right. <laughs> puffy jacket, Ace's puffy hair. hair is the same. <laughs> oh, <my> hair. <laughs> Ace's card is in box one. Snake's in number two. I just need to do the same for the rest. So that, yeah, well, now I right. kind of doubt that Ace is doing it because she's sad. Oh. But like, yeah, you're right. It is sort of like a brain dead puzzle. They don't make you do it, but it was hard enough for him. <laughs> and finally, the ninth man's card is in box nine. <gasps> it opened. Yeah, okay. they opened. What this the? game I... is unbeatable for people with prosopagnosia. I think they need um, an easier system for handicapped players. Dang. You're right. Nine pins. Those aren't faces. I guess I'll take him with me. I guess it's a skip now. Hey! We did it! Alright, well, well, let's of, just... Uh, face on a <laughs> clock. What's it say? I don't recognize stairs. it. <gasps> oh, yeah! Whatever, I'm going. Okay, well, now I'm back on the theory that Snake did it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because he's like, I can't see anybody. I'm an old man. <laughs> But he does own a pharmaceutical company. He do. And you know, isn't that like a big deal when we went through door two? I feel like it I was. I think they're talking about experiments being done by like a pharmaceutical company, maybe. 
Yeah, it's she's like my daughters. They disappeared and then came back and they won't talk about it. Yep. Yeah, something like that. There's all of seven. Oh, he was investigating all the shady crap with the, with the one pharmaceutical company. Mm -hmm. Seems let's say, let's say snake. Why not? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Cause you threw it at me, genius. <gasps> he got Cause me. Cause you just told me, fox boy. <gasps> Sonic! <laughs> I'm counting on you, Tails. And Amy, oh. take care of yourself. That's very sweet. Farewell, my admirable adversary. <clears throat> You remember the Nananari game? The Nananari games. The Nan 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 I know nine was on the top middle. I just pair some of them that work. Throw your nine in there. Thank you. An eight has to go to the right if you do it that way. Yeah, I think I screwed it up a bit. Oops. Y yeah. You okay. I think. Yeah, it's <clears throat> the root is what it is. I think I remember putting one down there. Which is funny. Nine pro, uh, let's see. Uh, nine in top middle, I know that for sure. Yeah. For sugar. For sugar. What's shaking, baby? Damn, it's five. Not seven. stirred. Seven has to go to left or right. Eight, I guess it'll be the left. Seven. This should work. Yeah! Yay! No wow, problem. we're geniuses! We're just like the rats, Boogie. we're doing it better every day. Yay! Uh -oh. You wanna check the Bushmaster. Check it out, I'll do it ah. my first try. Alright. You got 50 moves. Okay. You mess up once, everyone dies. That's how you get the real ending. Ooh. Oh, I guess so. I mean, hey, if everyone dies, that means the killer does. Haha! What the boy? Patrol! Well. How are you impressed? Oh, well, you did it in 46 that one time, so <laughs> I don't know if I I'm guess impressed. So. I guess I'm more depressed. <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, color me yellow and slap my armpits. You solved the puzzle. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe now we can grab the gun. It's a better ending now, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you grab the gun. And then you stab hey, what the snake. If, what if there was just like a dude running around with a knife? <laughs> or maybe like a, like, I don't know, if one of us, say Clover. <laughs> don't know what? why. Just one of us turned on the others. Just we have a gun. Swish swash and the blood goes pish bash. That's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I'm blind. To faces? You all look the same to me. Are you smirking at me? Oh, you're frowning. All around me are familiar faces. Do-do-do-do. <laughs> 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 
We go over here, and then we go. Oh, no, no, no. well, we haven't known if we try. Okay, there we go. Oh, look, we got it. Okay, oh, let's go over there. Oh, over there. oh look, let's go. Oh, look at that. Back again. Back oh, oh, it's a nine. Wow, we found it. All right. But wait, there's two here. nines. You didn't oh. expect that. Ha 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 ha. Let's not explore the room. Let's just go back because that's what we do, right? This makes me like contemplate like the whole point of the game and stuff. Gotta go fast. All right, now it's time to get stabbed by a knife. I think. Sonic speed. Sonic win. <laughs> Atlanta, good one, Jumpy. All right. Whoa, it's a coffin. <gasps> and it goes. Hey, hello. 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 That's where Snake is. He was just like, I got lost and tripped and fell in the coffin, and now he's stuck. <laughs> and now I'm dead, oh, like you God. said. Clover ran off. She's not here. Her dead, her dead brother, her dead baby. No, she isn't. All right. Just in case, we should go take a look at the shower room. Yeah, I didn't see <laughs> that before, I guess. The shower room? That's where her brother is. <laughs> Was. She might have gone to see him. <laughs> Well, we might as well check, right? Let's go! Good, we can still get in. We should thank Seven later. You're welcome! Oh, Seven. <laughs> A poke in the body. No luck. Yeah, I don't think she's here. The smell is horrible. Let's check the back just to be sure. <laughs> Let's look at it again. Here, you go look. I'm going to sit here and watch. She's not here. Let me tell you all about spaghetti and like meat and... Snake. <laughs> just where did your sister go? Dots. It's such a horrible way to go. The skull's shattered, the left arm's hideously twisted. Huh, w wait. <laughs> there it is. Bones. 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 Bones are inside, people! <gasps> Not to wait. My brother's left arm. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong accent. <laughs> My brother's left arm? It's, um, now like a normal person's arm. He can bend to 360 degrees. His arm is just a bone. <laughs> oh. The accident hurt him really bad. Do you, you remember the, the crinkle cut fry arm? Of I'm pretty course. sure I mentioned that. Of course, the crinkle iron. Oh. Fry. Why didn't I just realize it earlier? Um, jumpy? Don't call me that. Oh, sorry for making you wait. Let's go. You're like being all like smart and resourceful, and it's kind of freaking me out. I, I'm on crack right now. Can't uh, stop. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm gonna murder someone. Tumpay oh. Doon, where were you guys? We were in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> did, did something happen? Clover is. Clover is dead. Ooh. Oh. I found her in the first class bathroom. <laughs> it's not first class anymore. Ah. Oof. Hey, we all live. Yeah, we're all alive. <sighs> pants. <sighs> uh, pants. <sighs> uh oh. Dots. Dots with an exclamation point! <gasps> she means it. Clover! Clover! Why? Why did this happen? Dots. Hello, I'm a dimension and time traveler. You'll thank me later. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Huh. Why is she holding an egg? Clover! No way! 
Looks like it's all clover for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I did laugh. Uh. <laughs> Let's get out of here, June. I made my puns. I'm good. <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, I I said it all clo- clover. That was yeah, pretty I, good. I think so. Snake, what do you think? What does your dead sister think? I, we should get some rest. Yep. I'm I'm not as here. The bed. As... Oh. <laughs> can you sit? I can do more than that. I mean, I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the first to find the body? Me. Why'd you come to this room? I had to take a crap. I mean, oh. to look for Clover, why else? I found her body in the bathroom. I still took the crap, though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go That's investigate the body. I, I just started to the side a little. I, <laughs> all I did was just look away for a bit and did my business. Held my nose like usual. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you have to go, you gotta go. It was so weird. I think she was watching me poop. <laughs> <laughs> Soon as I did, I ran outside. <laughs> I got to the top of the stairs by the casino and yelled as loud as I could. <coughs> hey guys, I found her, but it's bad. The crap, <laughs> the crap I took is, oh, it stained it. <laughs> <laughs> She did the clear the bathroom in the first class cabin. Quick, come, come quick, or something like that. <laughs> I smell toast. <laughs> <laughs> then I went back to the bathroom. Hey, that the loader showed up real soon after that. It was awkward because I resumed business. <laughs> You just see him there with a newspaper. (laughs) Yes, he's right there. (laughs) But I guess you two hadn't heard me or something because you didn't show. So I took off down the stairs to look for you. After that, I mean, you know the rest, right? Seven, there's one more thing I'm worried about. What? How big was it? It's not my record breaker, but it was still pretty big. Man. <laughs> you stuck one of the plates in between the door and the frame, right? Why did you do that? Come on, didn't I already tell you that? I did it so that the door wouldn't lock. So we could come back to this room. Oh, you think I did it? Well, I don't know. That kind of depends on what you say, doesn't it? (gasps) But crying out loud, ha! Follow me. This knife. (laughs) A closet? Yeah. This is the reason. The safe! We couldn't open it when we were getting through this room. I figured there might be something pretty important in it. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I figured eventually we might figure out what the numbers are for the safe. And if we did, I didn't want to screw around with door 5 again. So I put the plate in the exit door so we could come back to it in that way. You get it now? Yeah. Figured it wouldn't open. Huh? This is... Rust. If there's rust here, that means... 
Has someone opened the safe? It dots. 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 Maybe there's another clue. Anything that might lead us to discover who stabbed C Clover. We got to find the third paw print. That's the third clue. Put it in this a door. <laughs> the who's clues? June's clues. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the ninth man's body is behind there. Maybe I should have another look at it. Nah, just in case. Mmm. Ugh. <laughs> the hell? This smell is... Pretty good. <gasps> Herkablurk! <laughs> Kirka Blurk, Gunga Bunga. Gunga <laughs> <laughs> Bloga, sick. Yuck. Dots. Wait. It's gone. His bracelet, it's gone. Oh, the pieces are coming together. Mm. Was right next to the glasses. But why? Huh? Where to, Pego? Dots. Oh, there you are. We were looking for something in the hallway. Yeah. yeah. Did you find something? Dots. No, nothing. What's up? Uh. Well, I want you to take a look at something. What is it? <laughs> See? The craft right in there. <laughs> Clover. <laughs> Dots. What was it he wanted to show me? I searched Clover's body again. A real shame she was stabbed once. In the back. Probably by a knife or something. And I found this. What? I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know? Basic stuff. Well, I did borrow one thing. Huh? I'm opening it. Truth had gone, truth had gone, and truth had gone. And now truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister hand. Well, what is it? Some kind of secret code? Hmm. A code. Sinister hand means. Hmm. Mm. I think literally the answer is the left hand. I think that's like typically true, but I don't know. This doesn't matter what answer you choose. Actually, okay. I'm yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Yo, the right. She one. said right hand. Why did you say the right hand? <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure the left hand is correct. <laughs> oh, the right hand. Then. Oh, okay, okay. I see. The right hand. <laughs> I'll go ahead and choose that one because I think so. I choose middle hand. <gasps> <laughs> the real option. That's how you get the true ending. <laughs> Neutrality. <laughs> Sinister was a term used in horrible. That meant to the left of the bearer of a coat of arms. The left hand, the left hand. What does the left hand mean? Does the darkness of the sinister hand have something to do with the bracelet? There's two things sticking out on either side of the face. The left and right sides of the face. Left and right. 
Oh left. my gosh, it just uh, remembered a thing. I mean, I guess this is only somewhat relevant, but um, oh. in like older, like literary Spanish, mm-hmm. um, what was it? There's like words for the left hand and the right hand. And the right hand is like diestra, and then the left hand is like siniestra, which kind of looks like sinister. So, yeah. Ooh. interesting. So there is some, there's some language. It's all connected. Whatever. Yeah. Left and right. It doesn't matter now what happened. Right and left. I will never give up the fight. (laughs) Truth is gone. Truth is gone. Truth had gone. Truth gone. Hmm. Truth. Gone. Maybe those two words. Truth must have gone. Truth must have had his. Truth gone. Truth gone. Truth gone. Truth gone. Uh, I'm gone. Truth. Doesn't seem to matter which one. Good raw truth. Hmm. What, what if you read Let's read it out loud. read it out loud. Yeah. Yay. Maybe there's something about how they sound out loud. Truth gone! Oh. That's not a good Pokemon name. Nope. <laughs> they sounded the same in my head. <laughs> Time for a different idea. <laughs> Let's not do the right one so we can see them all. I don't know which um, one is the right one, though. What else could gone and truth mean? Mm. Read them backwards. Okay. How about reading them backwards? Yeah. Gone and truth. Inaga shirt. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> Dots. Those aren't even words. I doubt that's what the riddle is trying to say. It wasn't a bad idea, though. I mean, come mm. on. Truth gone. Those two words. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm trying to get them wrong. So how about the second one? Yeah. <laughs> they put them in bold. <laughs> They're like, hey. <laughs> how many times do we got to tell you? How about switching the sentence around? Gone it had truth. Hmm. Well, that makes even less sense. (laughs) Clearly switching the words isn't going to help. I'm so stupid. (laughs) Time for a different idea. You did it. Congratulations. Yay. What else? How about I read it out loud again? (laughs) (laughs) I read it backwards out loud. (laughs) Good night to Roth. What else oh, could gone does. and truth mean? Truth, of course, means something that is correct. Something that is fact. In other words, something that is right. Uh-oh. You could even safely assume that gone means left. Oh. I guess. Uh-huh. After all, after someone left, they're gone. Oh, okay. (laughs) All right. Okay. But in this case, they clearly referred to their directional homonyms. Then truth equals right and God equals left. Then left, right, and right on the bracelet. Oh, it's a Konami code. These two things sticking out. So if I press them in the following order... Uh oh. Does it matter? Uh, truth had gone, truth had gone, truth had gone. I think that'd be it. Okay. But yeah, I, I legit don't know like, the game that well. I don't know the moment by moment okay. thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh no, I'm gonna die! Ah! Wait, did I just. Oh. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one.
Huh? What are those numbers? Dots. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. I feel like someone might have accidentally pressed that in. You know, they're just fiddling around. Just do, do, do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just doing something real quick. Gotta make sure to one, four, gotta three, three, eight, three, four, two, one. <laughs> One four three eight three four two one and one four three eight three four two one 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 four three four eight three four two one. All right, one wait, hold on. One four three eight three four two one. Or you can screenshot your screen. No. One four three eight three four two one one dot dot dot. You could dot. write it down. One, four, three, there eight, it three, is. Four, two, one, dot, <laughs> dot, <laughs> dot. There's a secret one, to this three, number one. that I cannot tell you yet, but there's a way to remember it later. Uh, you'll have to trust me on this one. one. You don't know anything about it yet. But well, what's its digital root? Let's see. If we get five, <laughs> then we get twelve. I don't know. <laughs> one to the right, four to the left, and. Uh, Bingo! I knew it was for this. <laughs> yeah, I totally knew. How do you know? Is this some sort of note? Let's see. Fact number one. The guy to your left always lies. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> the non anary game was played once before nine years ago. The non uh -oh. game. Fact number two. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. Uh oh. Hmm. Fact number three. He was a masochist. He wanted to be in the next one. Oh. <laughs> I could do better this time. <laughs> it was planned by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceutical CEO. Uh oh. Gr Gentaru Hangua. Yeah. <laughs> Cradle Pharmaceuticals what? Chief of Staff. Nagasa Nijisaki. Isn't that. God, uh, what's her name? Lotus? Mm. Didn't we learn her name? I don't know. We remember. did, I don't think it was that. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was not that. <laughs> Cradle Pharmaceuticals R&D Supervisor. Dave Robertson. <laughs> Teruyuki Kabuta. Takiyaki. Majority Shareholder in Cradle Pharmaceuticals. That's it. That's <laughs> it. If I add those letters together and find the digital root, I must punish them for the innocent lives they sacrificed. This is the only warning they will receive. That innocent souls might have be saved. I now state the truth. Zero. Dun dun. What? Huh. Dots. Sorry, but do you think you could all come with me? We gotta get that gun, one sec. Come with you? I want all of you to go to the big hospital room. Uh, why? There's something I want to be sure of. What do you want to be sure of? I want to know if the person I suspect is really the culprit. Ooh. This crack is amazing. Whoa, then you're saying? Yeah. I think I've got it figured out. I know who killed Snake and Clover. Anyway, if you could all please move to the big hospital room. I'll explain everything as soon as we get there. <laughs>